Someone stole my shoes. <laughs> okay, Ryan, faster, faster, we're winning. I found a new thing to be scared of. The speed ferries between Ibiza and Formentera. I think we just dropped anchor in paradise. Good morning, everyone. How did you sleep last night? Uh, we did not sleep great. The winds were blowing really hard, the boat was rolling like crazy and the winds shifted in the middle of the night. The winds are expected to shift quite a lot today too. And finally we decided that we were going to go to the marina because we can, because it's a cheap marina. We're not going to be seeing a lot of cheap marinas anymore in the Med. So this morning that's what we're doing, retreat! Okay, you ready? I can't believe how calm it is here today. Look at how calm the sea is. We were getting like thrown on our side yesterday coming through here. We're gonna climb to the top of that with no ropes. <laughs> Ryan is like, we will be attacked by birds. <sighs> Earlier on the trail, we uh, made a bit of a mistake and we didn't take the right trail. And I think that we ended up a little too close uh, to the seagulls. I got attacked by a seagull that flew at me screaming and <laughs> yeah, the seagulls were prompt to remind me who lives here. <sighs> wow, this is amazing. Yay! But I think it was fun. It was a bit of a, an adventurous trail. Uh, not too long that it would actually be like really dangerous, but just enough that it's a fun challenge. I liked it. Yeah. And the view were beautiful. Watch the seagulls though. Mm -mm -mm. Not all of them were friendly. In order to tell you the next part of this story, I need to give you a little bit of context. Remember in last video how we tried to anchor in some ridiculously big waves? Well, at that moment, there was an other boat in the anchorage which made us think that it maybe it was an okay place to anchor since there was another boat there. Well, it was not. Anyhow, in the midst of our massive anchoring struggle, I recognized this boat from an Instagram account that we follow. And later that night, we got in touch to ask if they were okay and let them know that we were okay. And eventually we decided to go have a beer. But when we meet someone new, we don't have for habit to uh, go in and, you know, bring the camera <laughs> show it in uh, the face of new people that we meet but I always bring this guy wherever I go in case something happened and that night <sighs> what happened to you Ryan someone stole my shoes <laughs> or you're visiting your boat <laughs> the shoes were here now I have to walk back oh well all right let's go have fun. Guys. thanks guys sorry about Bye. your shoes <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> Steal shoes. <laughs> like, if somebody really needs to see my shoes, they, they need them worse than I do. 
But now I don't have any shoes to walk around town in. Oh. I feel so bad for you, Ryan. Let's go, babe. Moral of the story, it is not a good idea to uh, leave your shoes on a public dock unattended. Just, we never saw those shoes again. Hey guys, after two months of preparation, today is finally time for us to sail to our first actual goal destination of the season, the Balearics! Yay! Our plan today is to sail from Kalk, where you are right now, to Formentera. And then from there we're gonna go to Ibiza, cross over to Mallorca, go a little around Mallorca and then Menorca and then it's probably too much to plan ahead. We've heard that the Balearics are an awesome place to go sail around because of crystal clear blue waters, beautiful anchorages, amazing nature and I've seen some pictures of how it looks like and it looks wonderful but when I think of Mallorca and Ibiza especially I think of mass tourism. Those places are known to have a lot of charter flights going there, big hotels, people going there to party and spend the days on, on the beach so it will be very interesting to go sail there and discover those places from a boat perspective. By the time we are recording this video it is early May and the weather in the Med is not really stable. There are lots of different winds coming from all kinds of different directions and today is fairly cloudy, it's a little foggy. The winds are supposed to be good to sail to Formentera. So let's go to Formentera and check it out! So we have been at sea for about an hour, probably just under an hour, and Ryan is already back to bed. This place, long for this place for so long. Now I lay me down, I lay me down and be alone. And I breathe in the air fresh from the blessing. Lest I am held by the forest where I go for rest and washed by the waters of lake. There we go, seven nuts. We've now been sailing for a few hours and um, I think this is by far the best sail that we've had this year. boat is barely moving although we're making seven knots. Oh, it's really relaxing. It's also the first time that I can read a book in the cabin on their way. It's awesome. Mm, this is so relaxing. I'm gonna take a nap. Are you also having a really good day, Ryan? It's pretty good, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It was nice not to have any internet for a while. Just shut, read a book and shut down for a bit. Mm, that's true. It's so easy when you have your phone connected just to like... Um, yeah. But we're chugging right along. It's Saving this is, diesel. This so, is amazing. This must be the best sale of the year Don't so tempt fate. Look Ryan, do you see? No, I don't. It's over here. Lando! I think this is Ibiza. What a beautiful day.
<laughs> Bonjour, changing to 72. 72 over. Non, 72. Oui, 72. Allo, allo. We're good. We are 10 minutes away from uh, entering the anchorage. Where are you at? Yeah, there are no boys left in the bed, so the option is to go somewhere else or come alongside us. Now, two of us make one catamaran, and the boys are big enough for catamaran. Yeah, I think that uh, we're gonna take up your offer and uh, come near you guys if that's all right. Okay, that's cool. You will. I'd like you to be starboard side two if you can manage that. Yeah, so starboard side two. We'll put some fender out. Starboard side. We copy that. Well, that's uh, extremely nice of them, huh? Yeah, it's really nice of them. They don't need to do that. À la bordage. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> to making it to yeah, our adventure well done, to Formatera. So you really caught one in there. We caught one. We caught Moby Dick, mate. It was. It was. <laughs> It was three it was meters long, it was huge. Next time you tell the story, it's four meters. Yeah, at least 50 <laughs> kilos. No, we could have us for a week. A we we, fished, we fished all the way from Ipswich in the UK, yeah. right, all the way to here. No, <laughs> like, no. no, we caught one fish, oh, yeah. which was in Bayona, but we were going through a nature reserve. <laughs> <laughs> I felt I had to throw it back. <laughs> I found a new thing to be scared of. The speed ferries between Ibiza and Formentera. Starboard. And so what it does right now is that it sandwiches us between three sets of wake. We're probably gonna be bounced around for the next five minutes. Look at the water, Ryan. Do you see how blue it is? Beautiful. Oh my god, you can see the bottom of the water. You can see the seabed. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, Ryan, faster, faster. We're weaning, we're weaning. We're doing eight knots. <laughs> you had a fast sail today. Again. I don't know if this is going to be a great spot or not. I think that we maybe chose poorly here. Look at this beautiful little anchorage that we found, guys. Sea Odyssey, Sea Odyssey, Sea Odyssey, Polar Seal, Polar Seal. Yeah, I think it's them. And that water out of this world. Turn around, Ryan. Yeah, it's great. Huh? Oh my god. I think just dropped anchor in paradise. Everything good, honey? Huh? Everything good? Off we go! Today is the first day this year that we're using the dinghy. It's also the first time that we're going to step foot on Formentera. It's not the warm weather that we were picturing ourselves when we thought about the Balearics. No, but... no, no, no. You were picturing the warm weather. I yes. was telling you that we were too early. Yes, I was picturing myself warm weather. Rightfully so. Except, it's a little cloudy. You see 
see the little thing sticking out yeah. of the water? Yeah, but I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go around that and take that first roll here. Okay, looks like a bottle. In Formentera, we are having some of the best sailing that we've ever had. And we've also been very interestingly tired. Like, we're getting the full after effect of the two months of boat work that we've been doing before. It's, it's been very interesting. Now that we've arrived in Formentera, we will be spending most of our time at Anchorage or on Mooring Boys. And we've had some really challenging times with the winds that shift up to four times a day. It is insane. And restrictions for Anchorage due to the protection of the seabed and Posidonia, which we're going to talk about in coming videos. Up to when we were in Kalp, anytime that there was some weather coming our way, we could just retreat at a marina. And it's just not the case anymore. There are some cheaper marinas in the Balearics, but most of them are really expensive and completely out of our budget. The good news is that with our added power and power production, as well as our water maker, we will be able to still live a very comfortable life while at Anchorage. Leaving Kelp also meant that we are not going to be touching mainland Europe for a while. From now on, we will be highland hopping in the Med until we decide when we cross the Atlantic. Before we go, we would like to welcome James, sailing vessel Loafer's Glory and sailing yacht French Kissing Life to our community of Patreon. First off, oh my God, what names for your boat, guys. This is amazing and Thank you so much for your support, you guys are awesome. In our coming videos, Ryan will be back with technical knowledge, this time on Boat Electric Basic. There was actually a request we got from you and we thought it was super cool, so that's one thing that's coming. We're also going to be exploring Formentera and Ibiza and of course we will do an entire video about the installation of our water maker. We just wanted to make sure that it works, that our installation is perfect so that we can spread accurate information into the world. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a really great day and we will see you next time. Bye.